In this video, we are going to talk about office supplies. Office supplies and stationery. So office supplies are everything that you use in your office. Stationery means the things that you use with paper. So scissors can be included in stationery because you can cut the paper. A glue stick can be included in stationery because you use it with paper. But an air freshener is not used with paper. So this is not stationery. This is just an office supply. Okay, so let's look at each of these things. First we have this. This is a marker. Specifically, this is a whiteboard marker. I believe that British people say pen, but for me as an American, this is a pen. This is not a pen. For me, this is a marker. And this is the cap. I'm going to put the cap back on the marker. Okay, whiteboard marker. Or some people, whiteboard pen. This one is called a highlighter because you use it to highlight important information. I'm highlighting the information with the highlighter. I'm going to put the cap back on the highlighter. This is called a stapler. You use a stapler to staple something. I'm going to staple the paper. I stapled the paper. Now there is a staple in the paper. So here I have a box of staples. One staple, many staples. Okay, so I'm going to put the staples in the stapler. Then I'm going to staple my finger. This is called a correction pen. You can say correction pen or you can say liquid paper. Or you can say what I say, which is white out. White out. So as an American, um, I had never heard correction pen or um, liquid paper until I moved abroad. But maybe that's just because I'm weird. I'm not sure. Um, the, the word that I always heard was white out. Then we have this. This is glue. It is a glue stick, meaning it's a stick of glue. I'm going to take the cap off the glue stick and I'm going to glue this piece of paper to this piece of paper. I'm putting the glue on the paper and I am gluing the two pieces of paper together. Now they are glued together. I'm putting the cap back on the glue stick because I don't want it to dry out. Then I have these. These are called scissors. Scissors. First sound is S. Sizz makes a Z sound. The SS makes a Z. Scissors. And it has an S on the end. The S is always plural. Or sorry, scissors is always plural. So it always has an S. You never have one scissor. This is a scissor. They don't make that. But scissors. I have scissors. Or a pair of scissors. Here, this is called a hole punch. Punch, hole, a hole punch, or a hole puncher. Or because it makes one, two holes, you can also call it a two hole punch. If you have one that makes three holes, you can call it a three hole punch. But the basic name is hole punch or hole puncher. Next up, we have this. 
This is called a box cutter. Box cutter for cutting open boxes or anything. This is called a paper clip. Paper clip. I learned this today because I didn't know what the real name was. I just called it a clip, but the actual name for this one is a binder clip. Binder clip. And two more things. This one, tape. Tape. What kind of tape? Scotch. Scotch. Scotch tape. And finally, I have this. This is a whiteboard eraser. British people call an eraser a rubber, but that doesn't make sense because it's not made from rubber. On a pencil, that makes sense to call it a rubber because it's made from rubber. This is not made from rubber, and in America, we call this an eraser because you use it to erase something. I'm using the eraser to erase the what the writing on the whiteboard. Okay, so these are my office supplies or my stationery, but these two are not stationery because you don't use them with paper.